I got a question from a student named Matt asking, I've always wondered what was covered in a URM status. Is that only race or does an older applicant or religion qualify as well? Great question. So what is a URM? That is an underrepresented minority and students from these typically racial or ethnic groups tend to get an advantage in admissions relative to other groups. So students within URM status would tend to include African American, Hispanic or Latino, Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, and Mexican American. And these are also groups that LSAC collects data for. And you can see that applicants from these underrepresented groups tend to be able to get into a law school with relatively lower LSAT or GPA numbers than they otherwise would be able to if they were not from these groups. Older applicants, also known as non-trad or non-traditional applicants, tend to get somewhat of a unique but smaller advantage as well because law schools will tend to value their work experience more than someone just coming out of undergrad or only a few years out of undergrad. What this means for you is that if you have URM status, then you may be a contender at law schools with relatively lower numbers than otherwise. So if a school in the top 14 has a median LSAT score in the low 170s, but you have a score in the mid 160s, you might still be competitive at that, at that school. On the other hand, if you do not have URM status and you have an LSAT score in the mid 160s, then you might not be a contender at a top 14 school. Of course, your GPA factors in as well, but this is just an example. If you are a non-traditional applicant, then you might get a boost of a couple of LSAT points as well. Of course, it's a bit harder to say. Of course, you can't control your URM status. It is what it is. And so if you have it, that will certainly help your chances and you might as well benefit from it and mention it on your application, check off that box. On the other hand, if you don't have that status, there is not much you can do about it. Just try to get the best LSAT score possible. And of course, you wanna get the best LSAT score possible either way, whether you have URM status or not. So. It is what it is, make the best of the situation. And to answer Matt's last question about religion, I honestly don't think law schools really care that much. It's not gonna be factored into their statistics in any way. So I don't see why they would really care. If it's important to you, yeah, sure, go ahead. Mention it on your application, maybe talk about it in your essay or an addendum, something like that. But I don't think you're necessarily gonna get a boost as a result. So whatever your status, I wish you all the best with your law school admission success and reach out and let me know what law schools you end up getting into and where you ultimately end up going. I'd love to hear from you.